Okay, you guys, I am answering a question in this video about the canned potatoes. The question was, um, how do you use them? Mash? Question mark. So I'm taking this particular comment because there were other like references to how do you use them and can you fry them? And I personally have never fried my canned potatoes. So today I thought it would be a great day that we give this a try and we see if you are able to fry up some canned potatoes. So I've got one opened and drained, but I want to show you guys what they look like. I think um, I had some questions on TikTok about are they mushy, you know, things like that. So here they are. I'm going to drain them, so I'm just going to kind of pour them um, in here. Just like that. So, for the question of are they mushy, so as you can see, they're plump. They still have firmness to them, and I'm going to squeeze it, and they will break but they're not mushy. Soups and stews is what I actually use these for, but today the sole purpose of this video is to see if we can fry them like a fried potato. My grease is already hot and I'm just gonna, I've never done this, so I'm just gonna pour them in. Alright, this is what mine are looking like. Mm, not really what I expected. So I'm not going to call it quits yet. I am going to add a little more grease. I'm going to take these out. I am going to add some more grease. I'm going to try again. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Because they're kind of like not really frying. But I was expecting crispy. Whenever I dice um, potatoes, I fry them up and they get really crispy. And these are more mushy. So I'm going to try again. Okay. This is hot, I know. gonna do much I'm just gonna let them sit and see if they'll fry up I may be expecting too much I think I am actually uh, expecting them to be like a fresh cut potato when they're not so because I've already cooked them <laughs> I've, I've pressure canned them so they're not the same texture as a, a you know fresh cut potato but I still wanted to see because if this is another option of a canned potato, then that's amazing. That's great. Jonathan's going to give them a test, taste test. They're hot, aren't they? Yeah, I tried one. They're not bad, actually. They're just not crispy like I expect them to be. Um, it's not bad, is it? He's going to try it again with a little salt. I think that's a lot of salt, honey. I think that's good. What do you think? Are they okay? You like them? Awesome. I'm gonna call it good on these. They're kinda sticking to the bottom, so they'll have a little bit of crispiness, but they are still, they're just, but they're kinda mushy. And this is what they look like. So this was our final result. So, I mean, you can, fry your canned potatoes but they didn't turn out like I'm used to so I usually dice my potatoes and I fry them and they turn out really crispy really golden um, and that's how we like them these aren't bad so if you're gonna do this I was thinking oh it would be great to use like 
some bacon grease and give them some flavor. My grandson likes them. He's eating them. So they must be okay. Also, if you have a texture preference, um, this may not be for you, but you know, it's, they're still not bad. They just didn't fry up the way that, like I said, I expected them to. But again, it is kind of an option, but to do this, I would probably even add some onion, fry it up with some onion, with some bacon grease, give it some flavor. It can be done. So now, I'm gonna ask you, have you ever tried to fry your canned potatoes? What did I do wrong? Was it a fail? Was it a success for you? I hope this video was helpful or entertaining to you in some way. Um, he wants more, so. Let's walk outside. I've got a story to tell you. So I brought you guys out here because it was getting pretty loud in the house, but I wanted to share this little bit of a, a story with you. Um, so earlier today, which this is something that we've been dealing with here for the last week, um, is the uh, big pig, the one that needs to be butchered, has been escaping and escaping and escaping. Well, I was upset because I thought Patrick was just letting it roam and tear the yard up. And I think I had mentioned that in one of my previous videos. That's not the case. He said he kept putting it up and it keeps getting out. And you know, once they're determined, they will continue to escape. Um, and so we actually found out how he was getting out today. He was actually leaping over the fence that, uh, is or the boards that are in the shop so they can they have a little place to lay in there and then he has it boarded up like where the gate was and it was actually climbing over that and like jumping over and we were like I can't believe this huge pig <laughs> is jumping over these gated boards anyway that's not the story I'm gonna tell you the story I want to tell you was our neighbors called where are those pesky neighbors that when our pigs get out they go down in the hall or and around and they get on our neighbor's property um, and that bothers me because I don't want to be those neighbors but unfortunately we are those neighbors and he has a security system around his house and he was able to see the pig and so he had Facebooked us and I woke Patrick, Patrick up this morning and I said we've got to go get the pig well, the pig and the two piglets both were over there. It's not that far down the road. I want to say probably almost half a mile if you're going to walk from our house all the way around to their house. And he took a bucket of feed and he walked it all the way back home on the pavement. As I was watching him walk with this pig, um... The Lord spoke to me about this. Of all of the things, it is so crazy how God speaks to you in these weird moments of your life when you're not even focused on him, really. Um, and how he showed me this. And he showed me how Patrick was walking this pig home. So, me, I was mad. And I was like, ultimatum mad. Like, if you do not butcher this pig before the weekend. I'm not going with you guys on this trip. I can't leave knowing that the pig is gonna get out and we're gonna be hours away and we're not gonna be able to just be here to put it back up. And then I was like, just kill it. I'm done with it, just kill it. And he's more calm and he's more steady. Um, and he just is walking at home and I'm driving alongside of him and he's like, go on home and make sure the gates open so that when we get there I can lead him in so I come on home and that's when this hit me how he was gently walking the pig back after this ornery pig escaped and ran away um Patrick was like no I'm gonna walk him home and I was like kill him wow how ugly I was and I get like that when I get angry and I get upset and I'm frustrated because it's like a repeated process. But you know what? The Lord showed me this. That no matter how far we go, no matter how far we run away, no matter what we continue to do, 
he still pursues us and he will walk us back or he will walk back with us, however you want to look at it. Lovingly, tenderly, easily, peacefully, right? And as we cut, like turn and go back and he's walking with us, um, he's gentle with us, right? No matter how far or how long it takes to get us back, he's there. And that blessed me. And I wanted to share that with you guys today because that's what I saw this morning. I didn't, hadn't shared this with Patrick, but, um, I did, you know, witness this and the Lord spoke to me about it when I was in my ugly moment where I was ready to kill the pig. Um, so I hope that that word blessed you. And I want to say thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting our channel. Um, and, and as Patrick always says, pray for the best, prep for the worst. God bless. You guys have an amazing day. I had to come and check and make sure y'all were still here. Yeah. <laughs>